I want to ask one question. It's a very naive question, but I yeah. think it will be uh, helpful, not just to me, but to many people watching this. Yeah. Explain the significance of uh, the fact that um, many of these possible transients um, disappear when they enter into the Earth's umbra or shadow. So these transients that we see that are like um, point sources, and uh, they are, let's say, if you would have an asteroid or, I mean, the way how we are looking at these uh, point sources, if you would have an asteroid or something like that, if it would be vanishing, I mean, if something is vanishing between two plates in half an hour, it's going to usually leave a streak. If you would have asteroids, it would be streaks. The only thing that we know today uh, that are having the kind of signatures that we see on the sky today are um, high orbit satellites and space debris because they are very flat, they are highly reflective. Imagine a mirror or something really flat in a high orbit. Sometimes these things produce these kind of short flashes of light for let's say half a second. And then you see something that looks like a point source. And if it would be at much lower orbit, you are more likely to see the streaking things. And, and so that's the significance. So it kind of indicates that we are looking at something, at many objects that are flat and very shiny. Okay. And which don't is, look very natural. Which of course is someone interested in, in UAP. That's, that's a, that's a very interesting um, uh, hypothesis or, or, um, you know, inference because reported UAP are often uh, fairly, fairly flat or disc-like. And uh, in fact, they're, they're metal and, and reflective, um, even in sunlight in the atmosphere. Okay, so my, my next question, uh, Beatrice, is, is you know, it, and again, it's another naive question, but it'll just uh, help me and, and people listening understand better the research. Explain to us what a aligned transient is or aligned transients are. Oh, well, sometimes when you have a satellite or space debris, and uh, now it of, of course depends on the way how you're imaging your stuff and the telescopes and set up, but sometimes you can see uh, an object, uh, well, as it's orbits, you can, it's going to be rotating and tumbling and you get flashes that are on a line or on a, on an, along an arc. And also, of course, if you have something in formation, you might also see something that looks like it's in a formation. So these things are in, I mean, they're good signatures and that one can look for. So if, if you want to test the hypothesis of that, you have an alien artifact and you, and you think that, okay, I don't know how to separate all these transients I have on the plate from how do I separate between contamination and uh, real reflections, then you can go and look for things that are on a line, for example. And that's what we try to do. We try to look for things that are on a line or in a narrow band for the possibility of formations as well. Mm -hmm.